Hey guys, welcome to episode number 29. We are, of course, here in Pedalburg, ready for our fifth gym battle against the normal type gym leader and our own father, Norman. Really excited about this one. Uh, I, I feel like his highest level is like 35 or something insane like that, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just 30, in which case um, this might be a lot easier than I thought, but I really hope it's 35. Now I'm kind of doubting myself. Yo, how's it going, Champ to be Owen? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of Pedalburg Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. Oh, that's right, okay. Uh, I forgot about this. This is pretty cool. So it's, it's actually a very simple gym if it's like the ones in the previous games. Um, but I think they use like X speed or X accuracy, so... Um, I think you can face them all, but... Uh, Let's start with X-Accuracy, because I think it'd be cool to see what moves they give a, a person using an X-Accuracy. Probably really powerful, but not um, very accurate moves. That'd be cool. Um, Alright, uh, I think we have Dan up in the front. And I realize actually Slate does have Soft Sand because of Bulldoze. Um, but you know what? Against normal types, I think I might give him a Citrus Berry, because I'm not sure... Um, how often I would use Bulldoze. Maybe to slow somebody down, but I think the berry is probably uh, more likely to be of some use. Hee hee hee, this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Is it though? Because I feel like most attacks in the game land without fail. And yeah, I think all the Pokemon trainers here just have one Pokemon. So there's Dog Hattie. If we haven't seen it before, we've seen it now. Not a strong Pokemon overall. I wouldn't recommend training one, but for this stage in the game, it's definitely decent. All right, well, uproar it is, and level 28, so the same level I am. I wonder what Delcaddy might know that's not super accurate. Ooh, a lot of damage. Attract? Okay, well. Um, attract only works on Pokemon of the opposite gender, and uh, it means it's kind of like confusion, where they don't attack at the time, but at least they don't attack themselves. And, yep, that was a really um, not smart move, because... You just gave me a 50% chance of winning, so thanks. But I guess that was maybe her only chance of winning was getting a bunch of attraction um, non-attacks. You were a cut above me. Yeah, at least a cut. There are even more fearsome trainers waiting for you ahead. The defense room is on the left, the recovery room is on the right. Whichever way you go, your Pokemon's attack power will be on trial. Alright, let's bring out then... Um... Do, do, do. Let's bring out Ford, since he's probably our best attacker. Maybe Lily comes close, but... Um, but, uh... Lily is already level 31. Making a, a mental note not to backtrack there. Or to backtrack there. Just when you think you're going to win, your opponent restores HP. It's such a terrible feeling. I think I'll let you see for yourself. Alright, wonder what he has. Maybe a defensive... Um, normal type? The noon, how? Oh. Not too impressive, I guess it's... Um, no, sorry, the noon just isn't that defensive. Um, I wonder if uh, low sleep might be a one-shot here. Mudsport, it is faster, I will give it that. Like I said, the noon is actually very fast. Alright, low sweep should do a lot of damage. And it is a one-shot. Oh, and there goes the expert belt, so let's add that to the tally. Which is now three and four. And that's George. <laughs> Couldn't restore HP fast enough. Yep, didn't even have a chance. I should have expected no less from our gym leader's son. Well, that's not the whole story. A trainer's skills are the result of effort and work. That's right. I lost to you because I didn't put in enough effort. Go on. Next is the one-hit knockout room. Ooh. What does that do, I wonder? But, um... I'm going to backtrack a bit. And... Uh try to go the other route just to I think it goes like um, there's one room here two rooms in the next area and three rooms after that and back to two and then Norman the gym leader is in the last single room again so it's kind of like a diamond shape if you can picture that all right let's see how the speed room goes being able to attack before an opponent that confers a great advantage in battle wouldn't you agree I would but the turn you use using the X speed is just a turn you would have gotten an extra move anyway so not really that impressive. 
I wonder if they all have like the same Pokemon like in a row. It'd be kind of boring, but there's only so many normal types, so maybe. Like this one in the room next to him was Delcaddy. The next three rooms are all Lanoon. And I think I know who the last true rooms are. Not a one shot, but ironically your speed went back down, so take that. Oh, and it is super effective. I know we're in a um Nope. I guess it uh allowed Delkai to go first. Ironically it could have gone first last time and could have started with the X attract or with the attract, but anyway, enough criticizing these guys' as strategy. I guess if they were that strategic they would be a gym leader and not the gym trainers. It might be a little uh yeah, I'm not getting like a random sample of enemy, enemy Pokemon here, because I'm facing obviously a normal type gym. But um it also wasn't really fair when I was in the desert, so it kind of evens out, I think. In the desert, you're not going to find many Pokemon weak to my moves, but here, you're going to find a lot that are. That was a magnificent battle, yeah, if you say so. Now move on to the next room, the Zero Reduction Room or the Defense Room. Um, let's try the Zero Reduction Room, I'm not even sure what that would be. Oh, probably Guard Specs, so I can't lower their attacks, not like I was going to anyway. It's a cool concept, I guess. For a normal gym, it's a nice, plain, easy, simple, straightforward concept. But in terms of how it actually works out, you know, it's it makes them pretty easy fights. All things considered, almost free experience. But I should probably bring out Ava, because I bet that would make things a little more interesting, and she could probably uh, use some easy fights. All right, sure enough, Lanoon, I think that's probably what's going on there. Guard spec gives me basically a free attack. Although I guess I can't lower the speed now, so, you know. I guess it, if he survives this somehow. Which he did, okay. So, yep, no speed lowering, which means if he didn't use the guard spec, he would have gone second this turn. But he still would have gotten one attack either way, so it's really just a waste of an item. Alright, just fire pledge, because why not? Covet, I don't know what that does. Oh, it's, it's like Thief, I guess, steals your item. Just temporarily. Level 31. Very awesome. Bulk up. Ooh, that's a cool move. Um, I think I'm going to go with the same strategy I used to have when I was a little kid, which is, who needs stat moves? Just go all out attacks of different types. Um, my Pokemon stats weren't lower, but I still lost. Strength room. I wonder if that's X attack. Um, let's switch out our Pokemon, though. Let's go with Slate, since he's very defensive. I'm not too worried about losing to these guys. Oh, actually, I said I was going to go with Ava, didn't I? Alright, Ava, you are up. Um, Alright, let's do that. And we'll face this room, and then we'll go... Can we backtrack? I don't know if we can backtrack. Can we go through here? No, so you have to go from the front. Um, that's okay. We'll face this person, then we'll backtrack the long way. Our gym leader told us to pull out all the stops to beat you even if you do happen to be the leader's own son. All right, I guess Dad really wants to beat me or doesn't want to face me. Maybe he just wants to challenge me. That makes more sense. Yep, as I expected, a Zangoose. I think this is actually a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm glad he's like the, the final one here in this gym. Um, so for Ava, who's only one level higher, ooh, an X attack. Maybe this was not the right room to start Ava off in. Can we get some sleep here? That'd be nice. Uh, Zigzagoon is not taking a nap. Oh, sorry, Zangoose is not taking a nap, rather. We are faster, that's good. So one more chance for sleep here. Didn't get it. Revenge. I don't remember what that does. I think it... Oh, a lot of damage. That's what it does. Sorry, Ava. Um, Alright, Dan, you are up. Um, what was I going to say? About revenge. Oh, I think it might be... Is that the move that does extra damage if one of your Pokemon fainted the previous turn? Like, you lose a Pokemon, you send them out and use Revenge, and it does extra damage? I can uh, search it real quick. But I went all out! Wasn't enough. It is a decreased priority move. Okay, if they receive damage the same turn, its power is doubled from 60 to, to 120. So, yeah, if he survived that hit, which he did, that, that's gonna, that probably would have one-shot all my Pokemon except for Slate. Alright, so Gear Dad would be next, but uh, I do want to trace. I do want to face all the trainers first. Um, 
Alright, to save time, let's use a revive, because that's what they're for, right? I do have plenty of money, so I can always just buy more. Alright, and we'll use some... Ah, citrus is fine, got plenty of those. Alright, I think we're going to go face the other um, Lanoon first. I do like how they save like the best items for last, too, like the X-Attack. And I don't know what the other one's going to be. We'll find out, I suppose. Um, so this is the middle room, right? Yeah, it is. Cool. The higher my Pokemon's defense, the more reckless I can be with my attacks. Okay, I guess so. That kind of, sort of, almost makes sense. Okay, Lori, what do you have? Elenune, not surprised. I think we have one more Zangoose trainer to face. And then it should be us versus Norman. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying, but that's not the first time. Won't be the last, I promise you. Like I said, it's hard to maintain focus on, at least for me, on um, you know, playing the game and thinking about strategy in the game and thinking about things coming up in the game and also talking and narrating. So it's very easy to get sidetracked. All right, so this is gonna be a fun battle. Ooh, Fury Swipes got lucky there. Wow, five hits, that's the most it can do. Um, so I guess because we're in a gym, it's uh, paralysis is the thing, right? Not sleep. All right. Hopefully he gets fully paralyzed, or I think Fury Swipes can miss. Yes, fully paralyzed, okay. And I do have metronomes, so this might be the knockout. Come on, Ava, give it all you got. Oh, I thought it might survive it a little bit. <sighs> Poor Ava. Okay, two hits, that's it. Two hits, just two hits. Nope. Ah. Oh. Alright, it's a little bit of bad luck there, but he did get paralyzed, so I guess it, it evens out. Alright, yeah, poor Eva cannot catch a break. Um, could do Lanoon versus Lanoon, but I do want to kind of... Um, I do want to kind of uh, give the XP to our main team. All right, well, we only have one more before our dad, and I, um, I do want to probably run to the Pokemon Center. It'd probably be quicker than using all the berries. One-hit knockout room. That's right, we knew that. Um, so let's move Slate to the front. All right, and we'll take on that one, then we'll go heal, and then we'll come back and do the gym battle. So what would one-hit knockout... Oh, oh, it's probably critical hits. That makes sense. Um, uh, dire Attack, is that what it's called? I'm not going to take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrible it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. So I will give it to the trainer, because I was using a weaker Pokemon, uh, no offense, Ava, um, a currently weaker Pokemon, I should say, um, the X defense probably did matter there. So that was a good, good choice in this one situation. Um... It's probably faster, so I'm just going to start with a Bulldoze, which I know, ironically, would have been a nice boost to have, but I'd still rather have the um, the Citrus Berry, I think. Yeah, this didn't do much anyway, so 20% more wouldn't have been... probably wouldn't make the difference here. All right, now I should be faster, even though Zangus is pretty fast. Pretty sure I would not have been faster to start, but now I am. And Revenge. That's going to do a lot of damage, especially if it's a crit. And that's a crit, yep. Wow, okay, so that's... I, I do like how the last trainers are actually the tough ones. They kind of build you up. And there's the Citrus Berry. Could really use an attack boost here. And Revenge is going to do a lot of damage. Please don't crit. Alright, good. Didn't crit that time, which means... Oh, I should, probably should use Seeker Power. Thought it was a miss for a second there. Hey! See how you like getting critted, Mr. Zangoose. Yeah, Zangus is definitely a formidable Pokemon, so I you might even want to tr consider training one, although it's it's not the best. But your power, you're the real deal. It's one of those Pokemon that um. I hold that thought. Your father really is strong. He's a trainer worthy of respect. And I sense the same brilliance in you as in your father. I hope you'll stage a terrific battle between father and son. So do I, cool trainer. So do I. All right. Well, I think that's all the trainers here. If I missed one, I apologize, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we got all of them. Alright, let's go heal up real quick. Zangoose, um, I don't really have a... There's not really a word for them as far as I know, but they're... I guess glass cannons would be the word, maybe. 
Um, but there's a category of Pokemon that tend to have not high stat pools overall, but um, the stats they do have are well allocated. Um, like Zangus has a good attack stat and a good speed stat, which is great. You can go first and you can do a lot of damage. Um, but he doesn't have good like defensive stats or good special attacks, so he's not a well-rounded Pokemon, um, despite a pretty good move pool, I think. A lot of normal types have really good move pools. Lanoon is another good example. Um, yeah, there are a lot of Pokemon. Um, Saul's Buck is a good example. Hitmonlee is a good example of that. Uh, I'm sure there's some special ones, too. But I tend to like Pokemon that are a little bit more well-rounded and a little bit higher stat totals overall, like the team we're gathering here. And I will say that even though I said Ava is our weakest member of our team, which is, is true, again, no offense, um, I think by the end of this, she will arguably be the strongest member of our team. So it goes to show that uh, it pays off to keep training and never give up. All right, here we go. Well, very cool room here. A fitting arena. I do kind of wish they'd made your dad like the 8th gym leader. I think that would be even cooler. But, you know, this is cool too. Hmm, so you did get four gym badges. Then, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. All right, give you one less chance. Let me just triple check my items here and my moves. I think I got all the right moves. Um, oh, none. Huh, good guy checked. Expert Belt, which will be really good if I use Low Sweep. It'll do a lot of damage here. Silk Scarf is good. Citrus Berry is fine. Metronome, Miracle Seed. Yep, all right, so if I give him... I might use Bulldoze, but again, even if I do, I think the Citrus Berry is better than the... Um, tiny bit of more damage from one not super effective move. All right. Um, who should we start with? I guess um, the Tang would be a fine choice. Um, let's go with Dan, actually. Actually, let's go with Ava. Cause I think it's well. I don't. I don't want Ava to keep fainting though. I feel bad. Let's go with Dan. Normal type versus normal type. That makes a lot of sense. I actually like that. Yeah, it's a there's no, um, well, anyway. Owen, it makes me happier than I can really describe. Being able to have a real battle with my own son like this, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything within my power as a gym leader to win. You better give it your best shot too, Owen. I intend to, Dad. Let's do it. Owen versus Norman. Seems like a good name too. I, I can see like a Norman naming his son Owen. Slacking. Oh, that's right. I misremembered. Okay. Um, so I was going to say, it's weird that nobody in this gym is anybody from the Whismer line. You'd think they would. I was thinking he had a Slack off, a Vigor off, and a Slacking. But I think he actually has a Slacking, a Vigor off, and a Slacking. Only level 28. So I wonder maybe his third one is not 35. Um, and Slacking, like I told you guys about, is that cool Pokemon that has like legendary stats. It's really, really high. It's actually pretty fast, too. I didn't remember that, but I looked it up a couple days ago, and it's... um. Base speed 100. Ah, uh, yawn, that's annoying. Um, oh, it did a decent amount of damage, actually. Good job, Dan. Um, but the right, the other side of having that really high uh, stat pool is that they use Truant every turn. Every other turn, rather. Uh, or their ability Truant triggers every other turn, I should say. Uh, making them not be able to do anything. The Hyper Potion did matter there because it's not a 2 hit knockout. Although, with a crit, maybe it is. Um, well, I don't see a reason, unless he's faster. He might be faster. Now, oh, oh, that's cool. I was about to say, why didn't the yawn work? Because of the uproar. Pokemon can't go to sleep. Oh, that's really lucky. That's, that's really cool, actually. All right, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Retaliate. I have no idea what that does. Let me look it up. Retaliate. Apparently not enough. Interesting. So in the... Um, oh, retaliate's what I was thinking of when I thought about revenge. It uh, Its base power doubles from 70 to 140 if one of your Pokemon has fainted the previous turn from the user's party. Alright, and Dan is still stuck in an uproar, so can't switch. 
Vigoroth is the middle stage of the slacking line, and um, it does not have true, and I think it has vital spear, which means it can't go to sleep. So, and apparently it's faster. Are we faster than the slack off? That's kind of surprising, because I think, or the slacking? I thought slacking was faster than Vigoroth, but I guess not that one. All right, so it probably is 28, 28, 30. Um, all right, let's bring out Slate. Since we should resist Vigoroth's attacks, so. And I'm guessing we're going to be uh, slower, so might as well use a move that lowers its speed. Ooh, faint attack. All right, luckily it doesn't get stabbed, and we have a pretty good defense, so it didn't do too much damage. Speaking of not doing too much damage, might be a bit of a slog fest here. All right, good. We are faster. That's what I was hoping. The nice thing about using it um, off the bat, too. Oh, and an attack boost. That's really good. Oh, no. Okay, Encore. That's fine. I was thinking I'd use a stack increasing move for a split second there, but nope. If he had encored me into Bulldoze, that would have been smart, because I would have had to keep using Bulldoze then. But having to keep using Metal Claw is not a bad thing, because I was intending that anyway. Ah, oh, with the attack boost, it almost got him, but not quite. And he's probably going to use another Hyper Potion. Not sure how many he has. But I have my own healing item, my berry. Okay, so in the original games, he had um, a Facade, or Fake Hate, I think I used to call it. Um, I guess the downside is Metal Claw can miss. Um, must only have the one Hyper Potion. Um, which made it uh, a bad idea to like stun or poison his Pokemon. Yeah, level 30. Okay, I was thinking 35, but I guess I uh, was misremembering, clearly. All right, well, we had the attack boost. Let's keep using Metal Claw. Oh, I should have used... I probably should have used Bulldoze first. To lower his speed. Like, you might as well, because you get a free move then, and then any Pokemon that you bring in... Wow, that was with a crit, too. I couldn't have used Bulldoze because of the Encore. Right. I'm getting there. But I wonder if maybe Retaliate is um, what he has now instead of... Instead of, um, Facade. Alright, um... Do I want to use Seeker Power? I could go for some Paralysis, but if he does have Facade, I don't want to paralyze him, because then it does so much more damage. I think it does, uh... I think it's base power 70, but it doubles in power if your Pokémon is... has a status condition. Oh, and we missed! Okay. I think it is Retaliate, which is a nice strong move. Base 70 is still pretty good, but, um... Probably not as good as Facade, although, I mean, it could be good if he used it a little better. Um, Alright, so we're down to... we still have a few Pokémon left. I'm not too worried, because I think Ford is going to do a lot of damage with his low kick. But I am curious how much Lily can do first. And I wonder, because he only does... well... We're probably faster. And his move won't be double damage, because we didn't faint one of his Pokémon last turn. Let's use Leech Seed. Because, yeah, if this hits, that's almost a guaranteed win. I guess he, does all, he might have another Hyper Potion that he's saved for this slacking, but otherwise, we're going to get a little bit of health every turn. That'll put us in a really good position to win this battle. All right, and Giga Drain might even just knock it out, but, eh, probably not. I think slacking probably has a decent special defense pool. Retaliate. I wonder if he can use an item in his true in turn. Ah, Poison Point! That he doesn't have facade, but if the, if the, yeah, the poison damage plus the leech seed, that'll be it. All right, and just like that, we have surpassed our father as a Pokemon trainer. Good job, team. That was a pretty fun battle. It wasn't quite as hard as I thought, because Pokemon weren't quite as high levels as I thought they might be, but um, still a pretty fun battle. Impossible. Nope, not even improbable. I can't believe it. I lost to Owen. You've come this far. That's how it is, then. I will give you this. I wish there were more like hard battles like that, though. That was fun. Having that badge will ensure that Pokémon up to level 60 will obey you, even if you receive them from trades. See, it kind of scales up too fast, though, because if I did trade a level 55 Pokémon, or level 57 Pokémon, it would now obey me, and I would still steamroll through everything, so... I'm not sure they really thought that through. Pokemon that know the HM Move Surf will also be able to travel over water now. And this is my gift to you, Owen. I'm sure you'll be able to use it well. Yeah, Retaliate. Okay. I wonder if Facade is not a TM anymore. Interesting. Retaliate will allow you to take revenge for a fallen team member. Its power will be doubled if you have a Pokemon use it in the very next move right after an ally faints. I hope you and your Pokemon will be diligent enough to use it wisely. Ah. Uh. 
As the gym leader, I can't express how frustrated I am. But as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, I mean, maybe I'm like a prodigy or something, but when you're beaten by your 10-year-old son in a game of strategy and dedication, especially when you've been training for that long, it, I don't know, a little odd. Come on, Owen. I'll see you on your way. Let's get out of here. Like, it never made sense to me how the kids have really strong Pokemon, but, like, the adults, you think they'd have, like, level 100s by now, but... Just the way it is. Hey, it's Wally. Ah, Owen, Mr. Norman. I haven't seen you, the two of you in some time. What a coincidence. I just came back to my parents' house to grab something I've forgotten. You look like you've been working hard, Wally. It's clear even without a battle. Really? You think so? <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. As you can see, Wally's health has thoroughly improved. It's all thanks to you and your father. You two helped Wally catch his first Pokemon that day. It's because of you that he has a partner of his own now. That partner is why he's grown so strong. That's my firm belief. So, I thank you. Ah, uh, is he going to give me something? Yes, that's it. Sometimes words aren't enough. It would delight me if you take this. I bet it's Surf. Yes, it is. Okay, that makes sense. If you're cleared to use Surf outside of battle, you'll be able to cross seas with your Pokémon. And I am cleared because I just beat the fifth gym leader. Owen... Considering how much you and Wally have grown, you should be able to handle what lies beyond the sea on Route 118 now. There are far stronger Pokémon and trainers waiting for you on Hoenn's East Coast. Continue your journey and your adventures there. I know you'll do your best. Yes, sir. I will do my best to become as strong as Owen, sir. I guess I had better start out then. I'm off for now, Dad. See you next time. Um, come on, Lowen. Let's go together. Wally, I look forward to seeing you and your Pokémon grow stronger together. Owen, well, take care of yourself out there. Don't forget to drop by Little Root to visit your mom from time to time. Okay, we're off. Be safe out there. Learn a lot. Alright, nice father-son reunion. Huh, you don't usually get to see much in a Pokemon game that's not um, something your character sees, but I guess you do now. Nice little moment here. I don't know what it is, but... Hmm? Seeing my little boy all grown up and going off on his own... As a father, it makes me happy and a little sad. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence. I caught myself thinking the same thing. Oh, is that so? But if only. If only my boy keeps growing strong and healthy like that, I wouldn't ask for anything else. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Alright, I see a barbecue in their future. Alright, where are we, Wally? Mr. Norman told us to keep going beyond Route 118, didn't he? Let me check my area nav. Route 118 is the one east of Mauville City, huh? I wonder if they wanted to make sure that you weren't, like, confused and not figuring out where to go. Owen, since we're both here anyway, let's go to Mauville together. I'm definitely planning on going to check out Route 118 like your dad said. Oh, is there not an option? At least May gives me the option. I guess not. They really don't want you to miss this, then. Um, so we could go, like, uh, south to um, Slateport again and go east there, but I remember there are some currents that really push the other way. So you, you can only, it's like a one-way trip. You can only go um, from Pacific Dog on the right to Slate uh, Port on the left. You can't go Slate Port East. Only way to go is by land for now. Um, we also could explore the routes kind of south by like Duford and all. And we might do that at some point. Um, especially if we start getting like underleveled. But uh, in the meantime, I think we're going to continue heading east, as our father said. It's actually pretty far, isn't it? All the way here to Mauville? So that must be Route 118 ahead. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll meet there. I can't wait to find out. I'll see you later, Owen. I'm going straight to Route 118. Let's definitely have a battle the next time we meet. It's a promise, okay? And you can't break a promise. Well, I don't want to. I'm always up for a battle, but... Uh, May hasn't battled me in a while, so... We'll see. Alright, well... Here we are, guys. Um, I guess we should probably heal our Pokemon while we're here. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for the west side of Hoenn. Definitely a fun adventure. I've been having a blast so far. Uh, I think our team is really starting to shape up. And um, probably the next... Uh, I don't remember when Explode evolves. Um, and I don't remember when Blaze, when uh, uh, Combuskin evolves either. But probably in the mid-30s somewhere, I would guess. Um, Matang is in the 40s. It'll be a while still. And Roserade is with a stone, so I won't evolve her. Or Roselia for a while. 
but yeah, definitely uh, some evolutions coming up, and in the not super, dis super distant future, we'll also catch the sixth and final member of our team, so that'll be really cool too. Um, yeah, and then we'll explore the rest of the region. We will do all the, the um, there's a few hidden areas now that we have surf that we can get to, and some trainers on the watery routes, and plenty of other cool stuff to do too, and I do intend to do it all sooner or later, but probably later. I think when we come back, I'll do Route 118 and head no north to Fortree City, which is one of my favorite routes, in part because it's obviously a very long route. Um, honestly, when I think of Hoenn, this is the route that I, it just reminds me of. I always think of this place first. So, uh, looking forward to it tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you all then.